Intel City, a platform where you can learn, teach, research, and repeat. Hello guys. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to perform transfer learning using LXNet in MATLAB Deep Learning Toolkit. My name is Sumair Aziz and I am instructor at Department of Electronics Engineering, University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, Pakistan. Here are the main objectives of this video tutorial. To get an overview of transfer learning, overview of LXNet architecture, transfer learning model designing and training in MATLAB. And finally, we'll test our trained model on different images. Transfer learning. Transfer learning is a deep learning approach in which a model uh, that has been trained for one task is used as starting point to train a model for another similar task. To learn more about transfer learning, you can watch my previous tutorial. I have provided the link of that video in the description. Architecture of LXNet. LXNet architecture can be seen here. We have total eight layers which contains five convolutional layers and three fully connected layers, which are also known as FC layers. Transfer learning using LXNet. The last three layers of the pre-trained network are configured for 1000 classes. These three layers must be fine-tuned for new classification problems such as single classification in our case. Architecture of the LXNet. Here is again the architecture of LXNet. We need to replace three, three layers, FC6, FC7, and FC8 to prepare the LXNet for the transfer learning. Implementation in MATLAB. Let's implement the transfer learning using LXNet for visual scene classification data set. This tutorial is designed for beginners having very little or no programming experience. I have installed MATLAB 2020A version. We will use Deep Network Designer Toolkit to learn transfer learning. To open the Deep Network Designer Toolkit, go to the apps. You will find the Deep Network Designer Toolkit over here. Click this, open this. This is the Deep Network Designer Toolkit. Initially, you will see the store option in this LXNet window. But as I have already installed the LXNet, so I open it here. LXNet is loading. This is a pre trained network LXNet. We have opened Deep Network Designer Toolkit. On the left side, we have a layer library. And on the right side, we have a property bar. Uh, we, here we have three tabs, designer, data, and training. Designer tab is used to modify the network and to design the network if you have a new network design. Data tab is used to load the data set. And training tab is used to train the network. Designer tab. You can zoom in and zoom out using the uh, mouse control and mouse scroll button. Just like this. In the designer tab, we need to modify this LXNet. You can zoom in and zoom out through the control and mouse scroll key. Uh, this FC7 layer, uh, here is FC8, and here we have FC6 layers. We need to replace these layers by new layers. So, uh, these are the properties of this uh, FC6 fully connected layer. Uh, input size is 9 to 1 6, and the output size is 4 0 9 6. So, we'll uh, uh, replace this by a new layer. We we'll drag a fully connected layer from the layer library. We place this uh, the properties the output size of the this layer should be uh, same uh, to this FC6 previous layer so the name will be FC6 new and the output size should match to this 4096. Delete this.
so the weight learn rate is 10 and the bias rate learn is also 10 so i want this layer to learn quickly so i will increase i have increased the weight learn factor and the bias learn factor these are the relu and the dropout layers uh, so uh, these uh, layers uh, are the same as these layers uh, don't have the training parameters fc7 layer fc7 layer uh, should also be replaced by new layer fc7 new and the output size here is 4096 so let's match the new layer 4096 This is by our new layer. Again, the value and drop uh, dropout layers. These are same. And FC8, this is very important. It has a 4096 input size and output size is 1000 because uh, the LXNet was trained for 1000 classes. So the output size is 1000. So we'll replace this FC8 new. And as I have three classes, so the my output size will be. 3. Uh, this output size, this number depends on the number of classes you have in the data set. I will auto arrange this network since I arranged. I will save this network control S. And finally, we will replace this output classification layer so that it must match our uh, network. As the number of classes has been changed from 1000 to 3, so this layer must be changed. So I will select the output layer, layer as this is the classification problem. I will delete this one and I will connect a new layer. layer. So, arrange this. so this classification layer will match my number of classes, which, are, which is 3 in my case. Click the analyze network button to analyze the network. So it's having a 0, 1, and 0 alerts, and we have 25 layers. So we can see the details of the network over here. Okay, now data. We need to load the training data. I have stored my training data over here. Uh, This is my data set. Uh, I have three classes beach, highway, and park. This is the scene classification data set in which we need to uh, classify different scenes. Each class is having uh, 167 images, highway class is having 139 images, and in the park, we have uh, 143 images of the parks. So, we'll modify the LXNet to classify. Uh, these, these three classes for us and the uh, folder name uh, will act as a class label for us. So we'll load this uh, data set. So I'll copy this location. Import data set. Import data. Uh, so here from here i can uh, select the folder or uh, if uh, i can select this option if i have preloaded my data set in the matlab workspace so here i select the folder and i paste the location over here these are the data augmentation options uh, so i will uh, use this 0 to 90 degree and scaling from 1 to 2 degree uh, 1 to 2 the scaling factor and uh, this is a validation these are the validation options uh, so 30% uh, data will be uh, for the testing and remaining 70% will be for the training this network will resize the images and will uh, make the size of the images uh, same to the network. Here we have imported our data set. It contains beach, the highway, and park class. So these are the number of observations. And you can see over here. Uh, total we have 314, 314 
uh, observations and three classes. So uh, data import is complete and we are ready for the training. The training option. So, in the training option, we uh, select the uh, training options by clicking here. Here, I have the final training options. So, the initial learning rate is set to be 0 0.0001. So, uh, this is a very uh, low number, so um, very little number. So, uh, the network will learn very slowly. And the validation frequency is 5, maximum map of 20, and the number of mini batch sizes 20 in my case. So, uh, the initial layers of the uh, network will learn very slowly. I close this, I go back to the designer toolkit, and I modify the, uh, the training parameters of let's see, 6 layer, these are the new layers. Uh, weight learn factor was 10 and bias learned uh, vector, uh, factor is also 10. So it's a high rate. So this uh, layer will learn fastly. FC7 layer, similarly, I will keep this uh, rate to be 10. And the bias uh, learn rate is also 10. So I want this layer to learn also quickly. And FC8 layer is also, uh, this also, I will keep the weight learn factor is 15 and the bias learn factor is also 15. So I'll save this network and now we have modified the network. We have changed a few um, weights and biases. We have loaded the data and we have set the training options. So we are ready to train this network. Click this button train to train this deep learning network. It will take a while. So I'll fast forward this part. Training has been finished and we have got an accuracy of 56.3%. Uh, so this accuracy is not very impressive. So we can change the training parameters uh, like learning rate, uh, number of epochs, and the uh, mini batch size. So it will have uh, effect on the validation accuracy. We can also perform transfer learning through other pre-trained models like VGG, Squeeze, etc. I have provided the links of other tutorials in the description. We can export this model using this export uh, option. This model, model will be exported as a variable to the uh, MATLAB workspace. So let's export it. Go to the MATLAB. Here we can see the trained network. This is the model, pre-trained model. You can double click to see the properties. Now I will use this trained network uh, model uh, to predict the images in the folder. I'll first load the image from the beach class. I will load this image, the beach image. I'll copy this location. Use uh, I am read command. This command reads images from the application. What's the name of the image? Copy the name of the image. Then I will resize the image using I am read size command. And finally, I will use the classify command to uh, predict the output. So, here what I have done is that I have passed an image i to this train network to predict the output. The output will be in y variable. Save this and run this. This is the uh, output of this uh, code, which is uh, y is equal to beach class.
So in this way, we can check and deploy our model. And to increase the accuracy, we can use other models and we can also fine tune the network by changing the parameters. Thank you.